time for another episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw. I'm your host, Dr. Jim Stepani. In this episode, I'm going to be covering the differences between the traditional or back squat and the front squat. The squat is the king of all leg exercises. The reason it's been given this title is because the squat utilizes all the muscles in the lower body, including the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, and even the calves to some degree. And the king of all leg exercises can be done in two distinctly different ways. With the bar on the back, or what is known as the standard squat, or with the bar placed on the front of the body for what is known as the front squat. Due to the biomechanics involved, where you hold the bar when you squat will have a major impact on the muscle groups emphasized. As you can see here, when you descend into a squat with the bar placed on your back, you must bend far forward at the hips to keep the bar stable on your back. This means that as you drive up out of the squat to a fully upright position, you have to use the glutes and hamstrings to extend at the hips. And of course, you also use the quadriceps to extend at the knees and straighten your legs. This makes the standard squat with the barbell on the back a great exercise for building overall size in the legs and for maximizing leg strength. When you descend into a front squat with the bar supported on the front of your shoulders and upper chest, you have to keep your torso more upright to balance the bar. This means that you have less forward bend at the hips and consequently less extension at the hips when you drive up out of the bottom position of the squat. Therefore, the front squat involves less hamstrings and glutes than the back squat, which makes the front squat a great way to place more emphasis on the quads for better targeted development of the front of the thigh. Plus, a University of Florida study found that when weight training athletes did the front squat, the stress placed on the knees was 20% lower than when they did the back squat. This makes the front squat a good alternative for those with knee issues and find that doing the traditional back squat causes them knee pain. The front squat is a tough exercise to master, so if you find that it's too difficult to do with a barbell, start off by using a Smith machine. Then, once you're comfortable doing front squats in the Smith machine, try them once again with a barbell. I suggest that you use both the standard back squat and the front squat regularly when you train legs. You can do this by either doing them both each leg workout, or alternating between them every other workout. Or, if you're trying to develop more quad size, or have knee pain when you do the traditional back squat, then stick with just the front squat when you train legs. For a workout designed by me to show you how to use both versions of the squat, be sure to pick up the NFL 2010 Special Edition of Muscle and Fitness Magazine and turn to my Muscle and Fitness Raw Department titled Do You Know Squat on page 198 in the Training Notebook section of the magazine. Or go to MuscleAndFitnessTrainer.com to download my front and back squat workout for free from the Muscle and Fitness Raw workout page in the My Workout section of the website. And as always, be sure to look for more great tips like this in other episodes of Muscle and Fitness Raw at MuscleAndFitness.com.